<coughs> now I would like to turn to the question you raised. Yes. Please, will you repeat it? Yes. Yes, Hadur, we, uh, Hadur mentioned last time uh, what happened to Diyal al-Haq and how he evaporized right. in the air. Now, what happened to the mullahs? Especially it's a, it's a very, Sa'ad. very interesting story, but also something which uh, is a thing of Ibra for us. I'll also refer to another article written by P. A. M. This is Marith Harith Harith Saudi Gazette staff. A piece of Kerala group causes Kadiani's nightmares. That ulema of Kerala are causing nightmares. You know this. Uh, scary dreams to the Ahmadis. So that also is about a Mubahala which took place there. So I will turn to that Mubahala as well. I had in mind to open this issue of Mubahala because this has been no mentioned and it is as you expect. It's all full of lies. So I have written to the Kerala Jamaat to study this and send me an answer point by point. So because I don't want to say it from my own assessment. I know this is all false, but I would like to hear the facts from there as to what happened to Ahmadis who participated in the Mubala, what happened to the others who participated in the Mubala. So we'll come to that later on. About Mazul Chinuti, or all me here. Where, 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 are the, where is the story of those who from, in, from England who accepted Mubala by saying it loudly that we have accepted and how they were demolished by God? I told the private secretary to collect all the material which I had already collected, but somehow it is not here. So let's turn to Mazur Chinuti himself. It is the year 1988 we are talking about. 10th of June, Friday, I issued this Mubala and this 10th of June is very important. So after Ziyal al-Haq, Manzul Chinuti was the main architect of all the anti-MD activities in Pakistan and elsewhere in those days. And he was the most trusted mullah of Ziyal al-Haq himself. Repeatedly it was published, Manzul Chinuti has appeared to meet the Zemir Ziaul Haq and these doors were open for him. He is also the man who conspired against me regarding the Aslam Qureshi case. And we have been collecting material, evidence, but when time comes I will show it to the world. Now let's talk about this Mubala. Munzur Chinyoti has been going regularly to a place situated between Chenayot and Rabwa, between the two rivers, two branches of the same river, Chanab. There is a small island-like thing between two bifurcated branches of river Chanab. Rabwa is six miles west of Chenayot, and this river happens to be halfway between Chenayot and Rabwa, Chanab. It, as it approaches Rabwa, it gets bifurcated into two parts. One flowing from the Chinyot side that is east and one flowing from Rabwa side which is west. In between, there is a small island-like place. Munyur Chinyoti is a dramatist, you know. He always, you know, sort of uh, is genius in displaying himself to the public and uh, making his name for the sake of earning some rewards for out of that. So he every year, you know, he came along with some and said, I throw challenge to Mr. Tal. I have been throwing challenge to Mr. Nasir Ahmed. I have been throwing challenge to Mr. Mahmood Ahmed. All have gone and I'm still there. 
it was just one sided challenge never it was considered important enough by the jamaat heads to accept a challenge from this man who was not even a genuine leader of chindot itself small mulla so whom did he represent none so that is why no answer was ever given but he kept on bragging year after year so when i threw my challenge i mentioned his name as well this time because by this time he had gained some fame he had become a man of national uh, not fame but notoriety at least so this is the background of this man and what he has been doing regarding this challenge i'll tell you later after the translation is complete in the beginning for a few months he kept on avoiding the challenge through one excuse or another and either inviting me to this place or to lahore or to some other places and putting conditions which were unacceptable and he wouldn't sign the paper and return it to me until god caught him in a very in his in, in his snare the snare of allah when ziaul haq got exploded in the media in august there was such a noise created all over the world everybody knew that he was the main person whom we had challenged manzoor chinoti had to come out in the open then he couldn't take it lying down you understand so to wash out the influence of that mubahala with reference to zia he made a statement in public and that statement is tent amount his acceptance of mubahala and his counter prophecy against me this was published in jang lahore 17th of october 1988 page first column 4 and 5 a big news was flashed on the first page which read the title was agle saal 15 september tak main to hunga qadiyani jamaat zinda nahi rahegi maulana manzoor ahmed chinoti ka jawabi challenge by the 15th of september next year i will remain but jamaat ahmediya will be wiped out from the face of the earth there will no jamaat ahmediya Muslim colony is the same. It's the part of Rabwa towards that river, where he it was a conference was held, Khatmir Mud conference. Reporting this, Jang report said that he said Mirza Tahir Ahmed's mubahale ka challenge kabool kia. I accept the challenge. Then a Qadiani wrote to me that you will not live by 15th of September 89. who wrote it nobody knows he is a big liar this man no one else could have written this because he under every and he understands the challenge of mubala and when i had done it nobody would dare to say something over and above me but he invented this he said in response i tell you now my challenge is that by 15th september 8 1989 manzoor chinoti will be alive but jamaat ahmediya will be completely destroyed now when this was published other ulama went to him and, and protested he said what have you done you will bring all of us such bad name how can you believe that jamaat ahmediya will be wiped out from the whole of the world in one year are you talking through your nose talk through your head so he published another statement changing his mubahala this <laughs> mubahala is done through of based on allah's information or the quranic teachings man cannot do make changes according to his own wishes but in his khutbah juma no i'm sorry next page acha acha i'm sorry <laughs> sorry here ha it was not only I, mean, I, i guess other ulama must have brought about some pressure but what was really caused now he reminds me it was a sermon of mine in khutbah juma 15th of november 1988 i wrote in this i said 
I mean, I declared that inshallah September will come and Ahmadiyya will not only be live but by that September it would have spread in other continents and other countries. It would be stronger in everywhere which is, where it is found. About Manzoor Chinuti I do not say that he will die by that time. I couldn't say because no more. God had not told me. But I said, sometimes God prolongs the life of such liars so that they say with their own, see with their own eyes that all their prophecies have proved wrong. So maybe Allah treats him like this. Maybe he is given a longer life every year to see and frustrate and burn in his heart to see Ahmadiyya flourish. This was the khutbah. When this khutbah was published, then he went into panic. And that is how Allah led him to another mistake. He, he said, after two months and five days, he issued a statement published in the same Rosan Jang, Daily Jang, Lahore, 30th of January 1989. 1989. In answer to the questioner from press, he said, Kadiani Jamaat, Pandra Stamber Ta Khatam Hojagi, Jiske Bare Mali Muduriam Chunutri Dawakiya, Unone Pandra Stamber Ta, Miza Taira Mat Khatamanegi Batki, Kadiani Jamaat Kinegi. In answer to this question, did you say that the whole Kadiani Jamaat will be finished? The reporter writes, and this was published, and it was never denied by Mr. Chinuti, up to now. He said that Maulana Mawzur Sahib clarified, he said, he never said that the whole of Jamaat will be wiped out. What I said was, Mirza Tahir Ahmed will die before that date. <laughs> and here I am. Here I am. Alhamdulillah. Before him. What happened to Mr. Chinuti instead is a long tale of woe and misery. But because the time is over, you better translate it mm -hmm. and then inshallah, tomorrow I'll take up the issue of what happened to Mr. Sinoti after 1998. Right?